Hello everyone, uh, Ansar here. Just want to say a few words about this new perfume that we have released, uh, Kinam Rouge. There's a lot of people asking me about the smell and about the ingredients and about the performance and about the silage and about the projection and about how much Kinam Rouge is in the bottle and all of these questions are coming and I'm very grateful that everyone is uh, keenly interested in this release of mine. What I wanted to say is why did I make this perfume and how come it's themed around Kinam Rouge and when this oil is already sold out on the website. Some people are wondering, they're saying, well, if the oil is sold out, how come you still have some uh, in order to make a perfume? And the reason that we discontinued Kinam Rouge when we did is because I wanted to make a perfume like this that I had on a back burner in the back of my olfactory brain uh, simmering at uh, all times over the past year and uh, it was just a question of finding the right batches of the right floral ingredients to enhance and build this structure that I had envisioned in my head and when things came together perfectly and I found a perfect rose from as far back as 1978 I was personally not born yet at that time uh, and obviously the uh, pink lotus has been quite an issue recently the past two years we weren't able to locate a batch that was quite worthy of uh, the eo label and the eo house so at long last we have a pink lotus that i feel is decent and fair and beautiful to be featured in this perfume because i had this floral crown if you can imagine the cherry tobacco notes that Kinam Rouge is so loved for and those uh, cross uh, reddish spicy tones that Kinam Rouge uh, displays to some people it's it's a Vietnamese oil but to some people it's the epitome of Cambodian oud and it smells quite Cambodian because of the red facets of it uh, and coincidentally the the sidekick to it and this perfume which we're using as an oud is not Transafi which is not red at all and doesn't have any of those facets of the Kinam Rouge oil which is in part due to the fact that I believe the and I'm not a uh, I'm not a scientist so don't quote me on this but I do believe that Safi is a sinensis tree whereas Kinam Rouge was a crossnet tree and that makes up the uh, you know the, the biggest chunk of that difference in, in, in their aromas so coming back to the what I wanted to do with it. There had to be a floral heart encapsulating the resinous facets and I wanted to have a special base that would support it and layer it at the same time and make it multifaceted kind of like like a baklava is how I like to build my perfumes. You might have obviously known that already. Um, so what I did is that I took patchouli and I infused that patchouli with Tibetan musk. This is unprecedented, so far as I know, in perfumery to take actual patchouli oil and infuse it with deer musk. This took that patchouli and turned it into the perfect base note for this perfume, for this composition. So we have Kinam Rouge and we have patchouli oil and we have the Sultan's Ambergris and Tibetan musk in the form of the infusion with the patchouli that went into crafting the base. And then we have ingredients as rare as champaka, red champaka, pink lotus, and we have uh, frangipani in the heart, and we have rose, one of the oldest roses that I've ever smelled. Uh, and I'll get my proper formula up, up here in front of me. Obviously saffron is in there, carnation and uh, henna. And we got red cedar and red mandarin and grapefruit in the top. There is only a very limited amount of this perfume that's being produced. Okay, I'll tell you this right now. Uh, less than Jamaican Ambergris, uh, less than Oud Sultani 1975, less than Oud Sultani Trangano, less than Oud Royale 2, the one that was recently reissued. And it is a limited leather edition. Now I'm sitting here wearing the perfume and this is a perfume that I've always wanted to make 
Now, I'll tell you this much. This was indeed called and named Kinam Rouge for a reason. There is a sentimental value to this oil, which I wanted I wanted it to have as its farewell. I didn't want it to just fade and disappear and peter out into the distance. It's a legendary distillation, my very first Vietnamese that I've released on Ansar Oud. Uh, and so, well worthy and deserving of a tribute in this form.